Hello everyone, and welcome to the testing of the new Epson Interactive Projectors. Today, I'm going to show you all the basic features necessary to get this up and running so that you can teach your class using the new projectors. First thing we're going to do, we're going to turn on the projector. You can either do this with the remote or by pressing the button on the projector. These take about 5 to 10 seconds to warm up and turn on, and once they do, we'll get started. first thing that I'm going to show you is the sidebar. Now if you're anything like me and you're left-handed, having anything over on the right-hand side is probably not going to work for you. Mainly because if your pen comes in contact with shadows, it's going to mess up a lot of what you're trying to do. So for me, being a lefty, lefty I'm going to use my right hand, I'm going to hold the bar, and I'm going to drag it all the way across the screen to the left side. So now, Whenever I use anything, it will not come in contact with shadows. The shadows will change depending on where you're at because the shadow is given off by the light of the projector. So, you don't have to have it on the left or right hand sides either. You can move this to the top or to the bottom of your screen. For this purpose, because I am left handed, going to attempt to drag it back to the left hand side. Now that I've shown you how to move this sidebar from either side of the screen or the top or the bottom, I'm going to teach you about the whiteboard app. So you'll click on the whiteboard app which is demonstrated by a pen, a squiggly line, and a screen. Now as we covered before, I'm a lefty. So, contact shadows will not be good for me on the right-hand side of the screen. If you are also a left-handed teacher, you'll want to go down to this small white rectangle down here. This will move it over to the left-hand side of the screen. So now, I can draw freely without fear of contact shadow. Now. To erase anything that you've done, there's a trash bin right there that will tell you if you want to erase and clear the screen. Now, your finger and a battery operated pen act as two separate entities. So let's say I wanted to use my pen to draw red. I could do so. But if I use my finger and select blue, acts as its own entity. So, you can have red and blue. If you choose to use the pen without a battery, it uses the same technology as your finger. So, if I were to take the battery out of the inside of this, it becomes blue. Now, for the purposes of this, we're going to keep the battery in go from there. Now that I've shown you how to use the pen with a battery and your finger as two separate entities to change color, pictures, formats, things like that, let's talk about this whiteboard and the amount of different pages that you can have. I have set this up to have 10 different pages of different whiteboards. So I can draw different things on this little arrow down here and change from 8 to 10. In order to have more pictures than one on here, you want to go down to the little plus with the box and you'll select that. That will create a whole new page for you to work on. Now, most of the time if you're using a standard whiteboard, you won't need more than two or three pages. However, let's say you had something planned for the day. You can have different backgrounds for different things. Let's say one of your segments is for math. We have certain backgrounds that can be used in different colors that involve them. You can even use this for 
teaching students how to stay in the line. when writing their name. As you can see, my teacher did not do a very good job of teaching me how to write with my hand. But that's why I'm in technology, so I don't have to write with my hand. Now I want to teach you all a little bit more about the options on the sidebar. The sidebar, if we choose the three horizontal dots, These will come up with some options that may not yet be available, such as saving your whiteboard to mail, saving it to a flash drive, or printing it. The timer, volume, share projection, participant list, all of these features I will cover in a different video. For now, just remember that these features are not quite yet there for you. Now, up at the top, we have a home button. This home button will bring you to the Epson Projector Home Center where it will allow you to change from computer projection to HDMI, things like this, screen mirroring, once again, all things that I will cover in a separate video once we have network connectivity to these projectors. For now, we're going to go back to this one here. This is the only option that you should have available for you. This will make your entire screen your whiteboard. That way you don't have to share half and half with it with your computer screen. So let's say you did this, but you wanted to go back to your computer screen. You'll hit that home button once more. It will bring you back to your computer screen. Now, everything that you have on your whiteboard will save. Therefore, when you go back to the whiteboard option on the screen here, all of your things will be saved, including all of your 11 pages. Now, let's say you're done teaching and you don't want your kids to look up at the screen anymore, you want them to focus on you. This option up here, you see the line through the audio equipment and everything, we'll turn it off. This will turn off picture and sound and place the projector in a low power state using less energy than it would before. To undo this option, this will stay up in the corner. And you'll press that, everything will go back. Our computer seems to have entered a sleep state, so that went to a blue screen. Perfectly fine. The next thing I want to teach about is this. You can take a picture of your computer screen and it will show up as an editable file that you can use to look at. So let's say you're running an art class and you say, you know what, let's take a picture of, let's select an area. I only want this small part of the screen here, or I want something larger. Snap a picture of it, and it will send it straight here to the whiteboard. Now, you can then edit it and have your kids do whatever they please with it. So, let's clear our screen. Let's try it now that the computer has woken back up. Let's hit that camera button again. Let's just do the full screen. So now, with your backdrop, you can edit it in any way you see fit. You can say, look at that Trojan head. That's a good looking Trojan head. I want to highlight that for my students. Look at that. St. Joseph County Schools. Let's underline that. Ooh, the IP address. Very cool. Let's underline that. You can do many different things with this, and even put it on a background. Who knows? You all might be far more creative than I am. One of the last things that I want to teach you today 
is how to use your interactive pen or your finger to control your Windows computer. In order for this to happen, you need to duplicate to make sure that this screen and your computer screen are the same, or if you are using extended mode, to make sure that this projector screen is your main display. So with that being said, we'll open up Google Chrome just as a test. Now, you can use your entire screen here as a keyboard as well, but this requires a next step. Down here on your taskbar, you'll want to hold your finger down until you see the square box. This will open up all of your options. So, you'll want to go up until you see the show touch keyboard button. This will open up a little keyboard button on the very far side of your taskbar. So let's say you wanted to search for something in Google Chrome. You click on that, you come down here, and you tap your keyboard option. So now you can use your finger or your pen to type in anything that you need to act as a keyboard without actually being on your computer. Thank you all for sticking around and watching the basics of these new interactive projectors. If you have any questions whatsoever, please put in a tech request and one of our friendly smiling faces will help you out with anything that you may need. Until next time, stay safe, stay hydrated, stay cool.